There is an undefeated team here in San Diego. Yes, the nationally ranked Aztecs football team is getting ready for a Friday night showdown. And of course, they're looking for payback. News 8's Chris Groh is joining us live at SDSU with a look at what's at stake. A lot to be excited about, Chris, that's for sure. There is because if they are able to beat San Jose State, they stay undefeated. They move on to 6-0. They go to 2-0 in conference play. But more importantly, they get payback, as you pointed out, revenge for last year. Well, we've kind of had this game circle marked on our calendars. Uh, San Jose, that put a bad taste in our mouth. They're the reigning uh, conference champs. That's the goal we have every year is to be the conference champions. And they took that from us. And ran all over our field and celebrated in our faces because they won and beat us at our place. So uh, that hurt us a little bit and that, take, uh, that hurt our pride a little bit and we want to get back at them and uh, definitely try to take their will and beat them this year. And look, sometimes when you talk to players and coaches about what happened last year, they'll try to push it away. They'll say, hey, it's all about this year. But it's actually almost refreshing to hear San Diego State, their players, talk about how much this game means to them because they felt like they really should have won last year. Of course, last year, San Jose State beating San Diego State before San Jose State went on then to win the Mountain West Conference title. And of course, that is something San Diego State is gunning for this year. They are undefeated, 5-0. and They're ranked 24th in the nation. They have an offense that's led by running back Greg Bell, who has rushed for more than 100 yards at in four of the last five games. So in four of their five games, he's a Chula Vista native, so he's a great story to watch as well, too. Their defense is playing well. Head coach Brady Hoke is hoping his team can stay focused on the fundamentals, make sure that they go into this game not too high and not too low. We've got to obviously uh, uh, play a lot better than we did last week and uh, we practice well so we got to uh, play that way on Saturday. And look, I know there's a lot of excitement. Going to have to watch this game on television if you're not able to make your way up north. So, again, it's going to be on TV, 7.30 p.m., CBS Sports Network. Eric and Stella.